Hey, and welcome back to 16 Years in Alkin 3. Well, as I said uh, earlier, I'll give you a little talk. Well, it's a very little tour around uh, my uh, living compartment in the back of William here. Um, well, you know, you see me with my uh, glass of... No, well, it's not wine. It's orange squash. Um, I didn't clear out my beaker earlier. Um, so I'm having to use a wine glass. Not that I mind. It's quite nice, actually. Quite refreshing. Um, yeah, but, you know, my nighttime uh, um, duties is usually some uh, wet wipes. Um, so I can give myself a bit of a clean. Yeah, well, not quite that dirty, but you can get what I'm saying. Uh, you know, you need to do it. I'm not going to do all of it um, on camera because I doubt any of you lot ever want to see any of that. Oh. Behind them ear holes are always the best part. Oh. No, you don't want to see that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll do a bit more of that in a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit more of that in a bit. Um, not on camera. You don't really want to see that. Uh, but yeah, if we come to this side. Oh, no, come on. Spin round. Oh, no, I forgot. It's all tied in. Yeah, all right. Let's go around here. So if you come to this side, to make it a little bit. Uh, well, that's my uh, little food box down there. That's got all my noodles and noodles and noodles and more noodles and oxtail soups. Uh, my little drinks. And then uh, I've got me squashes down there. Me crisp packets. Can't forget me crisps. Uh, my little munchies and everything. The chocolates are in there because they kept melting. And then shut myself off from the front of it. I've got my little curtain here. I can pull across. Um, I'm trying to do this. Uh, there we go. Um, that goes, oh, God. Uh, come on. In you go. Hey, yep. There we go, and that shuts myself off from the front of it, and then around to the back of it, uh, if I can place that in there good enough. Uh, there we go, I've got my little self. Hey, well it usually goes underneath your front, but what I did is I've got some um, sticky uh, Velcro there, so if I switch that this way, swing that around there over the window. I've got a lot of washing, so I've got a lot in the way at the moment, along with my chair. Stick that over to that side, and then I can stick that because the old ceiling makes a very nice Velcro piece. Stick that over there. I always keep my uh, trainers down there, so if I need to get out and go and have a wee or something like that, there's a hand. There you go. And it does make it uh, quite dark in here. If I turn the lights off quickly, there's one and uh, there's two. As I said, I vanish like that. Quite good. Oh, that way. So I've got a fair bit of light in here. Yeah, the headroom's not all that, I must admit. But for a cheap little runabout that anybody can buy, you know, you cheap little in a state car, high mileage state car. Um, yeah, well, Williams, I think we're up to about 103,000 miles in William, and I bought him at 97,000. So <laughs> he's doing well, uh, considering I've put about nearly 2,000 miles on him just doing this adventure since the April the 20th. But yeah, this is my little place. Um, when I get into my little snug area, ah, pull my old sleeping bag up. I might send a few pictures of this. But there we go, that's that. Pull my old sleeping bag up, make sure he's tucked down under my feet. Pull me do way up and everything like that. And then if I switch that light off there, I'll go like that. And here I am, put him up all nice and snug. If I really want, I can pull that up over my head. Got a nice couple of pillows behind me. And the second I switch that light out, I can always go in that night. And on that note, oh God, I can't find it. And on that note, it is signed to say almost no night, but I'm going to watch a bit of Star Trek. I might have another packet of Chris. Might even have a Twitch, you never know. I say, take it easy. Keep adventuring. Love you, bye.